I make outdated mainframes at IBM, sugar water at PepsiCo, missile defense systems at Raytheon. I don't scam airlines, I just take advantage where there are holes. My name's Justin Ross Lee. I am the owner of Pretentious Pocket. I'm a haberdasher and I'm an international do jetter. What does that mean? It means I fly around while people stay at their desks. Are you ready to go Jew jetting? Jew jetting. Jew jetting. <laughs> I think everyone in life has their own place of serenity. Some people like to go to Central Park. I like to go to JFK. Everyone else goes to the airport and they're like, oh fuck, I gotta pay for bags, I gotta take my shoes off, fuck that. I have global entry. I breeze through like George Clooney and up in the air. What's different about me is oftentimes I'm at the airport, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to work. Oh, well, <laughs> we have a lot in common. I'm going to work too. No, you're not. No, I really am at the lounge. I use the first class lounge as an office space. There's Wi-Fi, free food, unlimited alcohol. Why spend money on an office space when I can just come here? Wait, fucking Anthony Bourdain? Here's what you have to do. You buy a refundable ticket to get past security. You stay in the lounge all day. And at the end of the day, you cancel it. It's that easy. You'd have to be pretty stupid not to have your elite status. I have elite status on an airline that hates Jews, okay? If I had to compare myself to somebody today or in history, specifically Frank Abagnale, catch me if you can. He's got fucking chutzpah. At the end of the day, chutzpah runs the world. Airlines are in the business of taking advantage of you when you're down. So what do I do with travel? I just use my brain. People, when they're departing, they'll have their Uber drop them off at departures. That's the stupidest thing ever, because then you're fighting everyone else who's departing. I have my Uber drop me off at arrival. So big deal, I take an escalator. If you're waiting in line for anything, especially at an airport, you're an asshole, not the guy who's cutting you. Here's a way to make sure that your bags are never lost. You go to Target and you buy a starter pistol. A starter pistol does absolutely nothing. So when you're checking in, you tell the check-in lady, bitch, I'm declaring a firearm in my bag. They don't know if you have an AK-47 that's legally purchased and registered or a starter pistol, it doesn't matter. It's handled the same way. Another one is, sometimes you don't like the person you're sitting next to. Fuck, you could be sitting next to me. Look at these idiots. Uh, uh, Cynthia, that's right, you put, that, put those away. Yeah, some people just want to sleep or work. So what do you do? You take a bag of planter's peanuts, crush them underneath your nuts, and then you press the flight attendant call button. Dusty Debbie, or whatever your name is. I'm heavily allergic to peanuts. <coughs> I've got peanut residue all over my seat. I need you to reaccommodate me. Do understand that you're responsible for the medical diversions of 36,000 feet. Within two seconds, you're gonna have a new seat, an apology. But the look on their face when you start eating the peanuts is priceless. And probably within the next 10 to 15 minutes, someone's gonna knock on the door with a fucking bucket of ice because the service here is just incompetent. Hotels, they're in the business of fucking you. I'm a professional customer. Whenever checking into a hotel, I've done at least 45 minutes worth of research. And I try and find the most empowered, weakest link. The makeshift setup at the club lounge is incredibly lackluster. I would hate to have to move to the Grand Hyatt. I think that would be a silly thing to do. We have a new suite. You should see the size of the balconies, the size of our current suite. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, absolutely. Look, I want a sun deck and for when we order room service. Exactly. My business cards are not a hoax, okay? It's a matter of excellence. You know, if it's $1,000 a night, but Raytheon gets it for $195, I think you're a schmuck if you don't become a Raytheon employee through Vistaprint for $4.95. Oh, my ice is here? How are you, sir? I love oh, you. How are you? How are you, you doing? Uh, good, well, good. Your, ti your timing's impeccable. I, what's up with the ice? At this point, <laughs> I want it colder. I answer a lot of hate mail. You're a giant douche. Well, the real JRL, please stand up. I can't keep up with this. Anyone that's going to seek to the internet to um, you know, not beat their wife and to take hate out on me, I inspire that. Don't beat your wife. 
write me a message. Big fan. Are you? Take a picture. Yeah, what's your name? I'm not concerned with people whether or not they actually like me. I'm concerned whether or not they remember me. It's the Howard Stern effect, right? It's the 49-51 phenomenon. So if 49% of the people love you and 51% of the people hate you, you're doing something right. It gives them something to talk about. Children and family. We don't have children because I have very good timing. No, I don't feel guilty because I actually treat people well. If you can make them laugh and you make an impression on people, whether it's a TSA agent, the guy delivering eyes, make them laugh, I think you've done a mitzvah. I think you've done a good deed. It's like your ex-girlfriend's vagina. Shake your ass! Shake what you're working with! All right, go buy yourself something from the dollar menu. Shake your ass! Shake your ass! Shake your ass! Crack a swack. And I think you've made their day. Not to mention, I'm, I'm not really a bad tipper. I tip very well and I take exceptional care of people who take care of me. I would hate to ever become normal because normal is synonymous with mediocrity and mediocrity is the guy who's waiting in fucking line in the middle seat without the planter's peanuts in between his legs. Schmucks. Who the fuck would want to be called normal? What if he was you going from JFK to Raleigh New House? Yeah, I don't want to go there anymore. So um, let's send that ticket to refund. Oh, great, back to my MasterCard, fantastic. It's all about positioning, and people I think know what to live, Brandon, they're gonna get great content, they're gonna get a great party, they're gonna get great service, they're gonna see beautiful women, they're gonna see bottles popping.